All right, gonna show you Ed Fenninger twisting Acts chapter two to try to teach that Romans 10 is written to Jews and not to Christians. Watch this. Who are this these people are dispensationals. They wanna ignore the dispensational issue of what's going on in Romans 9, 10, 11, a parenthesis. You finish up with the book of Acts, what do you have? You have the hardening of Israel. That's what's mentioned in Romans 11. One of the mysteries, the hardening of Israel. So Gentiles can be brought in. This period of time is also going on. Uh, it's mentioned in 1 Corinthians 14, is the period of tongues. Now, if you're not a charismatic, your dispensationalist believes the cessation, the cessation of sign gifts, like tongues, you believe it was a 40 year period of transition where the tongues was a warning to the Jews that their dispensation was coming to an end, at least temporarily. While the church, a new dispensation was beginning, which was the church age, which came to act in Acts chapter 2. All these things go together. And yet these guys want to act like they want to go in Romans 10, like just like these things aren't happening. Paul was speaking to Jews. The command was to go to the Jew first. That ended when the period of tongues ended, when Jerusalem was destroyed. So you can see the tying he's trying to make. He's trying to say that Acts 2 and Romans 10 are both about the Jews. And it is true. Romans chapters 9 through 11 are talking about the Jews. But are they written to Jews? No, it's not the case. What's going on in Acts chapter 2 verse 21? Well, Acts chapter 2 verse 21 is referring back to Joel chapter 2 verse 32. Let's read it. Acts chapter 2 verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Notice how Acts chapter 2 verse 21 says, it shall come to pass. Notice the similar wording in Joel chapter 2 verse 32, because Acts 2 is, is referencing, the context of the verse is referencing Joel 2 32. Okay? Joel chapter 2 and verse 32. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered, for in Mount Zion and Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as the Lord hath said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. Okay? What's, again, what's the context of Joel 2.32? It's the second coming. There are second coming events being described. So Acts chapter 2 verse 21 is referring back to the second coming events of Joel 2.32. That's why both contexts, or the contexts of both those verses, mention signs and wonders. That's why Acts 2 mentions what's written in the prophet Joel. It's referring to Joel chapter 2. It's about the signs and wonders at the second coming. The Jews require a sign according to 1 Corinthians 1.22. And notice how Joel chapter 2 verse 32 says, For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance. Acts, sorry, Acts 2.21 and Joel 2.32 are addressing and written to Jews. And it's talking about the second coming events, the events prior to the second coming. This is not the case in Romans chapter 10. Okay, this is not the case in Romans chapter 10. Let's look at what's written in verses 9 to 12. Okay, Romans chapter 10 verses 9 to 12. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto his salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth in him shall not be ashamed. And the verse that's referencing is Isaiah 28, 16. That's why it says, For the scripture saith. And look at verse 12. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord is rich unto all that call upon him. Okay? Paul talks about confessing Jesus Christ for salvation. Where does Acts 2.21 and Joel 2.32 mention confessing Jesus Christ for salvation? It's talking about deliverance, calling upon God for deliverance. And again, what's the context? The second coming. Who is the time of Jacob's trouble for? The Jews. Who is being persecuted during this time period? The Jews. So they're calling upon God prior to the second coming. Notice how verse 12 says there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. Okay, this lines up to Galatians chapter 3 verse 28 and Colossians 3.11. So Paul is saying that both Jews and Greeks can call upon the Lord for salvation. Meanwhile, Acts 2.21 and Joel 2.32 are clearly only addressing to the Jews at the second coming. So it's not the same event in Romans 10.9-13 as being described in Acts 2.21 and Joel 2.32. But you can see Fenninger, he twists the verses, he tries to mix them, to, mix them together to try to say they were talking about the same event. No, they're not. Acts 2.21 and Joel 2.32 are both the second coming, describing second coming events. Romans 10.9-13 is describing salvation for both Jews and Gentiles. 
That simple. So just just trying to twist the scriptures and just trying to draw these false uh, comparisons to try to say that calling upon God is not part of salvation. Calling upon the name of the Lord is not part of salvation. It's work salvation. You know, just a nutty heresy. So don't be deceived by this heresy and don't be deceived by this heretic Edward Fenninger. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.